now we're on to Jacksonville, and uh, we did some, you know, plan for that today. Uh, it's such a good opportunity now mm -hmm. that the um, it's been extended from you know a 90 man cut to a 75 cut, so uh, we get more looks at more people, and I think, uh, in my opinion, you know, it's great, and we're really excited to see some guys flying around. I know they are too. Coach Julio said the ones were giving the guys a look and kind of, you know, encouraging them and trying to help them get ready for their extended activity yep. uh, tomorrow night. Yeah, some will play uh, none, some will play a small amount, and some will play a lot. Mm -hmm. And over the course from when, the, especially the rookie players, led mm -hmm. when they arrived here back in May, they've helped, you know, mentor uh, these guys all along. So they're anxious to see them get some extended playing time. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're an extension. Uh, of the coaches and then helping them, you know, be the best they can be. So uh, he's a perfect example of that. Who was? And uh, how do you, you know, I know you all have practice of keeping an open mind to see if somebody yes. uh, surprises or yeah. shocks you there. Isn't tomorrow? there usually the case where uh, after the game, I hope uh, you guys are asking me, okay, coach, what about player X? Mm -hmm. And uh, there usually is that player who uh, just is trying to show the best version of what he can do. And that's the goal for the players uh, into this spot. Uh, don't worry about the things that you can't control, only worry about the things that we can. That's their effort, their intensity. So we're looking forward to seeing a lot of guys. I know they're excited. We are too. How's Pastor and uh, how did he look for you there at the workout session? Yeah, we're trying to uh, get extra work. The contact portion, you can imagine missing uh, that much contact mm -hmm. portion as a lineman. And uh, so we were able to you know, get some extra work today. We'll do that again tomorrow. He won't participate in the game. He's not cleared for right. all the stuff, but these individual sessions are important mm -hmm. for him. Uh, to get that feeling of the contact back and in a new offense. So mm -hmm. he's off to a really good start. And Jefferson has a late ad for you. Yeah, uh, he has been. And uh, we wanted to add another uh, player inside. Uh, mm -hmm. He's got the versatility to play end and tackle. He came out of Mississippi State and we had uh, good remarks on him. So I uh, got a chance to see him uh, a little bit yesterday, today, and uh, we'll get a chance to see him in the game as well. 6'2", 280, or is he bigger than that now? He's actually or? a little lighter than that. So okay. he's been uh, kind of bouncing back and forth uh, depending on you know, team, hey, let's try yet defensive end. So he's getting, try to get a little lighter. Yeah. So it looks like a guy who could fluctuate as you need to. We're going to play him uh, both at defensive end and maybe in some nickel three technique, uh, much like we do with Chris Odom, some who's the kind of the bigger defensive end who can play mm -hmm. a little bit of nickel defensive tackle. So we'll take a look at him in the game as well. Mm -hmm.